What's going on guys? So as you know, the new update came out and I'm just gonna ignore the outro and we're actually gonna start off here with the new carrier map. As you can see, it's pretty dark and gloomy, you know, it's it's like a old like uh, carrier. And it actually has a lot of like uh, planes and uh, stuff on the outside there, Bruh. you can see. But we're actually gonna move on to this other map and I like this map a lot more just cause it's more bright. And it's also an easy map. And you can actually place stuff on these boats out here, and also the rocks once I like pan over to here. Yeah, there you go. So this map is probably going to be pretty good for beginners. You didn't have to cut. It's easy. Here are the new emotes. They're mostly a thousand, but the monster mash is two thousand because it has a custom like uh, sound. Here is the uh, I think shuffle stocks. It's like you're like bouncing around, you know, in lower frames. It looks pretty cool. And that's that that emote. Then you have the Chainsaw Man emo, which is a reference to this thing. This is actually one of the animations on the artillery for the winning. But here you have the Sturdy emo, it's like a reference to like getting sturdy if you remember that. I think that was like maybe 2022, 2023-ish, who knows. But around that time that was kind of popular, so there you go. And here, I do not actually remember this, I think it was called Sherbert. It's like you're just like walking around, you know. Oh yeah, another thing about walking around, uh, I found out that you could actually walk around with these emotes, I didn't know that before. And here's the Monster Mash with that custom sound playing, and you know, it's a, it's a classic, it's from like the old, the good old days I suppose. So that's Monster Mash, and here I am, you know, walking around, there you go, legendary sell for 1500. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have merged all my commons, cause... Anyways, there's the desert camera railgunner while I was talking. There's the World War One juggernaut, and I honestly wish. I really Bruh. like the ghost juggernaut because its gun is just like so big compared to the other juggernaut skins, and it also just looks like generally cool. I think this is one of my favorites, but I don't know. Commando is still pretty good. Then we have the toxic sniper. I honestly like the top path more. Honestly, just like John said, with uh... oh yeah. Uh, this background footage was sourced by John, not me, so there you go. On Toxic Laser Gunner, it looks good on max level, you know, with the skull, but like, honestly, Laser Gunner is an early game troop, so you're not seeing max that much. Kinda the same with the Retro Laser Gunner, except he does actually look good on lower levels compared to the Toxic, so yeah, but honestly, Retro is probably better. Uh, there you can see that the Toxic Sniper has a custom flare gun with green effects. Here you have the new Criminality XTX skins, the featured ones, but honestly, these don't feel like the highlight of the update, like, they, I mean, sure, these, like, I mean, they look pretty cool, but, like, compared to the other skins that they released, oh, heck no, man, these are definitely, probably right now not worth the Robux, but then again, it's your choice, you could buy it if you want. Uh, there's the Operator, he looks pretty standard as well, to be honest, not that different from the default, to be honest, I would rather use, like, Tower Battles or... So that's the update, you can walk with emotes, the emotes don't cost that much, actually they kind of do, but I'm rich so it's fine, well I'm not rich, but whatever, yeah anyways, uh, that's the update, peace out, have a good day, don't forget to like and subscribe.